The rise of bunkers amongst the rich has become an increasingly popular trend in recent years, but whether this is nothing more than a billionaire's fever dream, or because of something more sinister is widely debated, which is what we'll be diving into in today's video. As the world is still recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic, climate change driven storms lash American coastlines and flood inland cities, and Putin continues talk of using nuclear weapons. A Pew Research Center survey of 10,000 US adults found that 39% called these the end times. The world's wealthiest are among those most cautious of a coming crisis, including billionaire PayPal funder Peter Thiel and OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, who have started construction in remote New Zealand for the purpose of riding out the end of days. Technology writer Douglas Rushkoff recently described a secret meeting in the middle of an American desert in which five super wealthy guys questioned him on how they could improve their doomsday bunkers, with questions like, how do I maintain authority over my security force after the event? But what event could they be referring to? And who are these super wealthy guys? A range of companies have already fulfilled that demand, including Rising S, which says it has built 14 bunkers in New Zealand, Survival Condo, which converts abandoned US missile silos into survivalist underground high-rises, and the Czech-based Arpidum, which apparently offers ultra-luxury bunkers for billionaires anywhere in the world. An investigation by Wired reported that the Facebook co-founder and his wife, Priscilla Chan, are putting together a pricey residential compound with all the trimmings of an elite post-apocalyptic bunker on Kauai. On social media, Mark Zuckerberg has even shared a few glimpses of what his life at the residence might look like. The Zucks, who are known for owning thoroughly modern gargantuan properties, assembled the 1,400 acre estate known as Kulau Ranch over multiple transactions starting in August of 2014. Reportedly, the compound will generate its own energy, grow its own food, and include a 5,000 square foot underground bunker that comes with a blast resistant door, a living space, and even an escape hatch. Zuckerberg's compounds are also known for their privacy, and Kulau Ranch is no different. Almost everyone working on the project has signed an NDA, and according to Wired, the publication says that crews working on specific projects are forbidden to discuss their jobs with any team members outside of the ones to which they belong. According to public records and a secret source, Wired shared that the estate is nearly complete. The main quarters are said to consist of over a dozen buildings, with at least 30 bedrooms and bathrooms. The area is centered around two massive mansions comparable in size to a professional football field, which contains offices, several elevators, conference rooms, and even an industrial-sized kitchen. And much like you would imagine in a sci-fi movie, many of the compound's doors will be soundproof, operated through a keypad, or will be blind doors made to imitate the design of the surrounding walls tunnel will allegedly connect the two mansions and will provide a route to the bunker. Conservative estimates put the total price of the compound at a cool $270 million. Even rapper Rick Ross posted on social media about his own plans for a secret bunker, which apparently, unlike Elon Musk's bunker, has a garage for his cars. The rapper had this to say. I'm excavating. It's going down. Y'all know how I love real estate and I usually like to build and go up. We going underground now. One time for all my doomsday preppers. Elon Musk, I see you. I saw your ground plans. I'm impressed, but guess what? My bunker gonna have a garage. My bunker gonna have wings. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we breaking ground. Huge excavations. You gotta have your fluids. I got a water maker, a, some like a machine that makes water out of H2O. I got a water maker. We got our canned goods. So if you're thinking the brothers ain't ready, we ready. But why do this? 
especially if the apocalypse does come into fruition, the first thing that is going to lose all of its value is money. This kind of reminds me of that film, Triangle of Sadness, where all the rich people get stranded on a line and after their super yacht blows up, and they realise their money is powerless in a life-threatening situation. Well, there's a few theories on why they may be doing this. The first is that AI is posing a threat to society. Elon Musk even recently held a summit about the dangers this will hold in the future back in November of 2023. Companies that don't utilise AI to the fullest won't be profitable in less than 10 years. The clock is ticking, and we have no plan for a post-AI world. What will humanity do when we don't need to work anymore? There's also growing concerns about the current circumstances in the world. Last year, the non-profit coalition of physicists and other researchers behind Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists set their doomsday clock 90 seconds to midnight. The closest humanity has been to doom in the clock's 76 year history. Russia's war on Ukraine has raised profound questions about how states interact, eroding norms of international conduct. The 2023 doomsday clock statement explained. And worst of all, Russia's thinly veiled threats to use nuclear weapons remind the world that escalation of the conflict by accident, intention, or miscalculation is a terrible risk. Those concerns have only grown as Israel's bombing campaigns over Gaza, in stated response to Hamas, has threatened to ignite a wider war in the Middle East. There are also lingering anxieties of another pandemic, and COVID-19 has done nothing to suppress the fear of societal collapse. Climate change is a further horror, as one sustainable prepping influencer content creator Breck Wagner had this to say climate change means that we're going to have more intense weather patterns. That means that we're going to have more storms and they're going to be more intense, that the storm patterns are going to change across the country, that places that are unused to having drought will have drought, places that are unused to having rain will have rain. Additionally, that means that places that are already experiencing severe drought and flooding will continue to experience severe drought and flooding. Basically, our weather is going to be more intense because of global climate change. If for no other reason, you should have an emergency plan to deal with these inclement disasters because they're coming, whether we want them or not. This past September, for example, New York City was hit with flooding that reached the wettest day ever recorded in the city. It cancelled flights, shut down the subway, and submerged cars around the city. And last August's wildfires in Hawaii were the deadliest in US history, with 96 fatalities and thousands displaced. The world's richest and most powerful would surely have a hell of a lot more data on potential world disasters than the rest of us. The last assumption is simple, but the most likely idea is that these are nothing more than pet projects. When you're that rich and you're bored with buying luxury cars, yachts and mansions, I guess a bunker would be the natural progression, almost like the equivalent of scrapbooking for billionaires.